Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Don't Panic Pray. I'm Pastor Bridget, and um, here's Pastor Cosroy. <laughs> I made it. Wow. Exactly. I made it. Barely. Welcome to <laughs> Don't Panic Pray. We're still in this pandemic. Doesn't seem it's going anywhere anytime soon, but we are here to open a dialogue. So let's talk. Yes. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, we're starting a new series this week. Um, we're going to be talking about the man in the mirror. So the man in the mirror, who is that? Oh. It's me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm talking ourselves. to the man in the mirror. Right, yes. Is that a song? If I, well, see, if I had started out, and I thought about that, but if I had started out with a uh, man in the mirror um, song, then people would say, oh, they didn't backslid. <laughs> 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 but that was a thought. You know, to let you reflect on that. Think about that song that he wrote. Because it, it was a really good song. And I just might play it. We'll see. But until then, let's just talk. Um, and what this series is going to be talking about is reflection. Um, our reflection, looking within ourselves. And instead of pointing the finger, we want to point that finger back at us, at yourself. So what's the, what's the analogy they always give when you're pointing your finger at someone? There's always three more pointed back at you. Oh, four. Uh, you only point one. Well, I don't know how you point. I don't know. I don't point like this. I point like this. So I don't know. People point differently. I don't know. But... <laughs> I have three coming back at me. So you may have three or four, whichever way, you know, you get the point. All right. So um, we're talking about spiritual development. Okay. So these are the things we're going to be dealing with and the things we're going to be talking about spiritual development. And that only comes through self reflection. Okay. And that's what we're going to be dealing with on different levels. And I want you guys to please interject. Hey, Wendy. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. It's going to definitely um, cause people to be vulnerable. And and we may be a little, um, <laughs> say this, we may have to be a little transparent at times, you know, to share um, when we're talking about reflection. So you want to always, we first, before we get too deep in it and start you know, saying scriptures and everything. I just want to give you some kind of background um, on. Okay, thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Fix it up. You want to? Um, you can take that off because I want to get and read on the notes um, first. You know, as young people or as people that have given their life to Christ. And a lot of people feel like once I give my life to Christ, that is it, okay? I have arrived. No, you have not. This is just the beginning, okay? So that's the start of a long journey uh, with just like any relationship. You meet your, your husband for the first time. Um, I met Cosroy for the first time. I had my first initial thoughts of him. I'm sure he had his first initial thoughts of me, but then... It took a time for us to learn each other and to learn how to get along and how to communicate and deal with each other. So it's the same thing with your Christian life. Once you give your life to Christ, then that's the start of your journey. And I'm still learning about her. And yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> it's like vice versa. But it's a it's a oh, great it's learning. Versa. I think she knew everything about me because I talk so. Oh much. yeah, he do talk a lot. He did. He, he did told everything. <laughs> he did told it all. He started telling me a story. I said, "You already told me that. You already told me that too." Six time already. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, he tells it all. So he's very transparent. So that's really because me. I have to tell him you overshare it now. Okay. That's yeah. Me. You don't hide anything. <laughs> but so that's how we should be with Christ. 
Because, I mean, why even try to hide it? Because he already know. He know exactly who you are. Matter of fact, he know you better than you know yourself. You know, so as you become a Christian, then your main goal is to come, become like Christ. So that is the end game, is to be just like Christ. And yes, some of us have a long way to go, and some have further to go than others, but that is what we're striving for, to get to be just like Christ. And so in order to get like Christ, there is a process of sanctification because we have to be sanctified in order to be like Christ. We can't just live this life any kind of way, do whatever we want, act how we want, speak how we want, and still be like Christ. That just is not going to happen. You know, but we get we have continuous growth through reflecting back on ourselves. So as we look back, so that's our main topic and that's the main thing we're going to talk about tonight mainly is the importance of self self reflection so that's the biggest thing you have to understand that we're processing and we're moving continue to move forward but yet looking at ourselves so now what is self reflection okay many of us probably figure we already know i know what self reflection is i know what that is Okay, well, I'm just going to give you um, a general or a definition. Self-reflection, that is to stop and take a long, hard look within. So you can't self-reflect while you're deflecting like on someone else. That is you stopping. And then I think about, too, how a lot of people, especially now a lot of Christians, say that they meditate. Um, I have meditation and, and many people have gotten into meditations, especially since this world has like it been turned upside down and all these um, troubles that's going on left and right. Every time you wake up, seem like it's something new, you know, but people are learning how to meditate. And um, and Christians, I, I know of a lot of Christians that look at meditation as, oh, that meditate. Oh, uh, that's fleshy or that's that's something that uh, that people are doing in the flesh. No, listen, it's a certain type of meditation. Meditation is when you are, you've stopped. Same thing like self-reflection. You stop and then you think about it. Look, take a hard look on the inside. Some of us don't want to look on the inside because you don't want to see what's in there. You uh, Or you may know what's in there and you just don't want to look at it. You want to avoid it. So when you stop and take that long, hard look, of what's in you and see what your desires are and what your desires have been, uh, what you're feeling, what are you dealing with? You know, now this is the time to see what can I do to make this better? So Pastor, you wanna add in anything before um, we are coming? Oh, hey, Pastor Henrietta, amen. Man, Bless you, you. Too. love you too. <laughs> Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. So, um, you want Self, to self-reflection? Well, she mainly said it all. <laughs> it, it's taking a look at yourself, and this is why we name it the man in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Because when you stand in the mirror, who is looking back at you? Because even if somebody stand behind you in the mirror, it still reflect that. Mm -hmm. So, what do you see when you look yes. in the mirror? So, you're doing the self-reflection is pretty much search your whole self. Like I just tell you, I tell it all and tell it again and again. So sometimes we really have to tell the Lord again, you know, you know, Lord, forgive me of this because maybe I forget I didn't answer that. Mm -hmm. Even though I said, Lord, forgive me of all my sins. Mm -hmm. He, he yeah. heard me. Mm -hmm. So doing a self-reflection is pretty much um, taking a deep look at yourself. Yes. And, and and see all the things, the baggage and, the, and all the debris that lay aside there <laughs> that you need to get rid of. Exactly. Yep. So let's 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 talk about that tonight. How 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 do you get rid of the things that mm -hmm. you see when you look in the mirror? How do you how do you get rid of it? 
because yeah. some of these things are are really addictions mm -hmm. yeah. and, and and um and some people try to encourage people on the things that they are addicted to mm -hmm. hoping that it will help them right so let's talk tonight tell me how do you get rid of something that you see is a problem in your christian life all right all i right. had a deacon one time tells me that he was smoking for a long long time mm -hmm. mark now many christians haven't seen smoking to be wrong <laughs> right so for those who oh, they hear me talking about this now i want to say uh what it's wrong to smoke <laughs> well, i'm gonna tell you straight up if you smoke don't talk in my face mm -hmm. i hate to smell it <laughs> i said i hate to smell i just don't like smelling cigarettes mm -hmm. so that's for one reason why i would not smoke Right. So, um, and he said it takes him a little while to get over smoking. Mm -hmm. So, what? How do you get rid of the things that reflect to you when you look in the mirror? Yes. So now I have a question for you, um, and I'm gonna show you in just one moment. Um, it's put up on the on the screen now. So I'm asking the question and I want you to answer. I'm just gonna write I'm your satisfied. comments. So you're asking yourself this, am I satisfied with what I'm doing? Now we're talking about self-reflection. We're talking about looking within ourselves. Think about it. Are you satisfied? You like 100% happy about what you're doing and where you are in God. That's what I'm asking. And this is not, we're not talking about the physical appearance right now because mm -hmm. many people look in the mirror and are unhappy with their physical appearance. Yeah, we're not talking about it. We're, we're talking, talking about, about it. Look in your spiritual self. Yes, let me put something up. Let me see. Okay, so remember this question, guys. We want to reflect up um, what um, mm -hmm. Michelle, Minister Michelle put up, let me say, by realizing there's a problem and asking God to help me with it. All right, through prayer and scripture, exactly. And that's it, you have to first recognize it though. Yes. If you don't realize you have a problem, then you're not gonna ask for help. Well, that's why you look in the mirror. Exactly. For you to reflect back in you. Because well, of... yeah, <laughs> what if your hair out of place? Okay, yeah. so I can come out here looking crazy, hair sticking mm -hmm. all up and everything, but if I look in the mirror, then I'll see. Now I'm like, oh, hold so on, let me see. Now you this recognize right the problem. And right. Minister Casey is here saying, by asking communicating with god on the matter mm -hmm. asking god yes to remove this and the scriptures are there that's it to back you up amen that's <laughs> so so true amen that is the truth let me see what else we have to say not yes what you say <laughs> No, I'm not satisfied. I know that's right. You answered the question. I, I, I know the song. I'm not satisfied either. <laughs> I'm not satisfied either. Hi, hey, hey, Minister Rochelle. Ooh, it's glad to see you. How hey. you doing? Uh, yes, indeed. I'm telling you, I'm not satisfied. Come on, people. I want to hear from you guys. Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied with what you're um how you are and what you're doing? You know, and if you say you're satisfied, we may have a little problem. <laughs> we don't want to be satisfied. As long as we're in this flesh, we can mess up and we're going to not be, per we're not perfect. You know, so none of us should just say, oh yeah, I'm satisfied exactly the way I am. You know, we all should constantly search our hearts to see what can be better. What can be made better? How can I get better? You know, so that's the question tonight. I'm asking you. Hi, Minister you Ford, uh, Ella Ford. All right. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so you're oh asking God. yourself this question: Am I satisfied with what I'm doing? Am I satisfied of who I am right now? All right. What we got? No. Mm -hmm. Always willing to grow. Okay, that's the point I was saying. It's right. always room <laughs> for improvement. Yes. So I have I have a, a confirmation there. There's always room in the natural world and business. Yeah. There's always room to improvement, mm -hmm. regardless if customers are there, are are your patronage or or whoever come to what kind of business, whatever your your distribute, whatever you're supplying, uh -huh. whatever your 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 physical life is um 
is is involved with whatever you do for a living to right. earn a bread. It's always room for improvement. But I always do that, you know, when you get those surveys and stuff, even when I'm really satisfied um, with something, I rarely give it a five because I think about, um, you know, there's always room for improvement, always. And I think I'm like that on myself as well. And so I grade really hard, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I know that sometimes people do deserve a five and I have given fives before, but you know, in most cases, I'm like, there's still room for improvement because you said that they get a five. That means that it was perfect and you don't need to do anything else, you know? But when we think about ourselves and we're self-reflecting, when we're looking to see what's in us, we should always search and try to find God, what is it that I can improve in? Mm -hmm. There's always room that we can improve and be better. Do you um, see another comment? Yes. Uh, Keep those comments coming, guys. You know, because I mean, sometimes life gets really busy okay. and so, get caught up. Um, Don't get too high where you can't be teachable. Oh, now that is a fact. And that happens to so many people. You know, they think once they get position or, or I'm a minister or I'm an evangelist or I'm a, a elder or I'm a pastor or I'm whatever, a bishop or whatever your title may be. And some people get these positions and, and they the feel like- self-made titles. Oh, know? well, yeah, that too, <laughs> but that's a whole nother topic. But I mean, I'm just saying, even if they've earned those titles and they become in these titles, always remain teachable you know at all yep. times don't ever think that you've grown so far in god you know what paul said i have not apprehended so as long as we're living in this life we've living in this flesh we have not apprehended we have not obtained there's going to be always something to learn yes always you know and i learned that as a small kid growing up because my parents used to push that in my dad and my grandmother used to push it at me never try to show of on others thinking that you know. Mm -hmm. Because um, while you think you know so much, some little humble guy in the crowd might just tear you down. Right. Like Bob Marley says, take a small uh, ox to cut a tree down, a big tree. <laughs> so you think you're mighty and I, I'm so knowledgeable and I know this all well. Mm -hmm. And then you just so, I always stick humble in the back and watch. Yes. You know, watch and watch and watch and learn because mm -hmm. my dad tell me the wise men learn from the fool but the fool will learn from nobody so therefore <laughs> i'll watch and watch and i watch the fools move around and somehow they make a move that is really good that i can copy and i take it the mm -hmm. fool don't even realize that he has given <laughs> me something all right so that's how you, know, you, you, you learn mm -hmm. you know so don't think you are so big and you know so much that you can't be teachable because you know what mm -hmm. a fly will teach you something mm -hmm. for what? yes i can't fly anyway <laughs> so they would want to teach well me to fly, fly would teach me to cover my stuff not to let it land on it <laughs> that, that, there you go so you can learn you can I'm learn flying around and say oh now you're gonna teach me to cover put my, my stuff. top so you won't <laughs> land on it so yes i have another question for you guys so are you willing Let's see, we can get it posted up here. Okay, are you allowing God to order your steps? So are you allowing God to order your steps? So this is after you've reflected, this is after you've looked at within yourself and, and where you're going in life, um, are you allowing God to order your steps? Or, or are you making your plans? Are you scheduling out uh, your time and what you're doing? Or are you allowing God to do it? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's the case there. I see Michelle, uh, Michelle says, ask God, you know. Mm -hmm. And now now that you, you acknowledge <laughs> that there's a problem because yes. you said you're not satisfied. Mm -hmm. So it got to be a problem there. Right, right, right. And you know, I always need more of God. More, more, give me more, give me more, Lord. It's so high. Yes, yes. I, I can't get up there. And he's mm. so low, I can't get down there. And he's so wide, I can't get around him. Exactly. So it's always one of the more. So now, are you allowing God mm. 
<laughs> to order your steps mm -hmm. yes in that which you are not are so not <laughs> satisfied with that's right are you allowing god to do that Come on, talk to me, people. Talk to me. Okay, let's see. Um, Sister Wendy, oh, well, wow. <laughs> talk to me, Some people. things are easier, <laughs> easier than others. Yeah, no, some sometimes things, it's easier. Yeah. Oh, some you say some things, yeah, are easier, easier than, than others, others to, uh, oh, to yeah. do and to follow. <laughs> Boy, that's a fact. Yeah, because sometimes it, 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 it may be a little bit easier to stop stealing than lying. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I'm I just being real. Yeah, you know, I I because it. that's sometimes when you look in the mirror, you see that man, yeah. I can't stop lying, mm -hmm. and, and I'm taking this a little. Oh, thing. now, now you know we are some lying saints, right? <laughs> oh well, maybe that was meant to come out then. <laughs> oh, maybe so. <laughs> yeah, and we it's got like, some there. Yeah. easier. Because I've been there. As a kid growing up, nobody teach me to lie. Nobody teach me yeah, to oh, steal. Oh, no, you don't have to lie. I used to steal my mama cookies and her bread and her sugar. And never realizing that's going down. Remember the miss word, it. what the words say. We're born in sin <laughs> and shaped in iniquity. So that's just automatic. But when God changed me, <laughs> yes. it was easier to stop the stealing than lying. <laughs> I, I, I'm just being honest and real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my oh, goodness. What's up? Well, I'm missing oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Probably talking about them last saints. She know we got Oh no. Lord. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not very I'm not very good at mood just now. So what are those? Just uh, la laughing, laughing real hard. Like turn it to the side. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she has something else there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, yes, because I'm telling y'all, okay, sometimes man. you have to laugh to keep from crying because all this foolishness. Well, well, sometimes you're laughing to cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. of foolishness. Mm -hmm. Sin nature is something else. Yep. Don't we need him? Yeah, oh, Lord. Glory to God. I could yep. start shouting out, sister. Oh, that's, that's a fact. Oh, we need him. Lord have mercy. <laughs> we need him. Because this, this <laughs> so, nature, because I'm saying you have you know, the, your na natural nature, and then you have the sin, like the devil try to get you and tempt you and get you to do things. So we have a lot working against us. Yeah, and that's why we need to reflect and think about what's in us and meditate and pray and seek the face of God so that he can get these things out, bring them to the forefront. Then once he bring it to your, to your attention, and then you see it, then you can do something about it. Until then, you you don't you don't even realize that you're even doing all these things sometimes. But talking about um, um, nature, you know, every time I talk about nature, <laughs> yeah, nature in human, I have to talk about the nurture. Yes, yeah. Right? Because sometimes you can nurture. And this is why I want to be nurtured, God to nurture me so much, mm -hmm. so it overrides a nature. Yes. Because yes. a sinful nature is mm -hmm. so powerful but if you get to be nurtured by the spirit of the lord yes that's right, right. uh you know um <laughs> i have we're a blended family yes so when i come in this family i i saw three kids that i they had a nature mm -hmm. and i want to ingrate it's not that i disagree with everything they do but i have my style that i want to put in there Mm -hmm. And I tell you, um, I'm gonna call out Samantha now. <laughs> she was a little bit older, I think she was about 15. So, yeah. And you know, I know in the back of her head, she said, Where this man come from <laughs> with his new style? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh -huh. But I keep putting it, I keep saying it, yes, I keep yes. saying it, and she becomes a woman and leave and have her own family. Yes. And little did I know <laughs> that the, nur the nurture mm -hmm. was being going in. Yep. So when we allow God to nurture us, mm -hmm. anytime that nature comes in, yes. that nurture overrides it yes. because it's oh, so much yes. better. <laughs> yes, yes. We talk. We talk. <laughs> Come on, tell me, teach me some of these American words. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like real talk, real talk. Like, okay. Yes. So straight up, straight, straight up. up. Yeah. I mean, that's we got to come talk about these real issues, the real things that we're dealing with. 
you know, because people want to overlook it or, you know, or keep it under, sweep it under the rug. Don't talk mm -hmm. about it. No, these are real issues. You know what happens when dust get underneath with. your carpet? Oh, yeah, it just, it seeps Every out. Every time you're walking, it just, it just yeah, it just comes agitate up. Agitate and come back up in your nose. Exactly. And it starts sneezing. Mm -hmm. Don't sweep things underneath the rug because when you're walking, it, you're going to be sneezing. It's still coming out. You don't want to be sneezing. And nowadays, when you sneeze, what people, oh, you did? <laughs> you sneeze here, you have COVID or what? Right. So you don't want to have a spiritual COVID. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lord, don't push the bad things underneath the rug. Mm -hmm. And then walk in it because it's gonna come back up in your nostril exactly. like it does, and then so, you're gonna be sneezing real quickly because we already going into our 30 <laughs> minutes right now. But um, on what the Bible says about reflection, um, and it goes into the scripture here. I keep wanting to use that mouse, but I don't have a mouse for this other computer. <laughs> um, so it talks about in um, First Corinthians. 11 and 28, when it says, let a person examine itself, then so eat the bread and drink this cup. Talking about communion. Um, whenever we take communion, every first Sunday when we take communion, I read that scripture because it's all about reflecting because the word does tell us if we take communion um, and we're not clean or we haven't repented, then you're taking it in damnation to yourself. So you're hurting yourself when you do that. So when you come to the table, you want to come with joy. You want to come uh, pure and being honest. And he said, look within yourself. Look in there and see if there's anything that's not like me. He said, if there is, then this is your opportunity to repent and say, Lord, take this out of me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for what I've done. You know, and once you repent, he forgive you. That's it. You you take communion with a clear conscience and, you know, your, your conscience is clear. Everything is straight and then just move on in God. Now, that don't mean if you just go right back to your sin. But, you know, some people, that's what they do. Every every first Sunday, they repent and they take the communion and then go on back to their regular life. But that's not the point of self-reflection. It's a point of seeing what's in there, getting it out and keeping it out. And then continuing to worship God. But we want to look within ourselves and see what's not like God so that he can cleanse us of that. And so instead of uh, working our problems, like we said earlier, and, and the reason why uh, Paul was talking to the people in Corinth, because instead of them dealing with their issues and dealing with their problems, they wanted to just ignore it and continue on fellowshipping together. And so that's what people in the church today do. They do the same old thing. So I, it's it's really amazing to me how we talk about people in the Bible. Oh, they were so dumb. Like, oh man, we can really dog out like, them, like them Israelites. We can dog, we dog <laughs> those Israel, them Israelites out so bad. They were so dumb. Why are you going in circles 40 years and they weren't even listening? They were like, what? You doing the same thing today? <laughs> same thing. Not listening. It, it maybe <laughs> your wilderness, maybe not the wilderness the Israelites are walking <laughs> oh, right. into. It's a, it's a and your circles may not the circles they're they're going around. Mm -hmm. But if you search yourself good, so let's search ourselves good. That's are it. we going around in circles? That's right. Because you know, once you come in contact with God, you need to grow. Mm -hmm. hey, Paul if you're says, not growing, that's a problem. Paul says, like the newborn babe. Mm -hmm. that deserve the sincere milk when a baby just born that okay. first milk from the mother is so important yes. to the well-being of the child mm -hmm. he says when you become a believer that's right the word oh yeah the word mm -hmm. you know and there's another scripture that tells me that it's time to start eating meat mm -hmm. you know get off that drinking milk. milk get <laughs> off that milk uh -huh. So look and see if you're going around in circles. Right. Because right. it's a possibility we are going in circles. We keep coming back at the same place. Why am I why am I at the altar today again? Yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord, forgive That's me. I, I, I'm gonna use the word stealing again. Um, <laughs> Lord, forgive me for lying. For lying. Why are you going thing around thing. in circles? <laughs> Get past the line. There's a way now to oh, overcome that. Right, overcome it, man. Mm -hmm. See it before, it. look in the mirror, see it, yes. and you know, defend yourself, yeah, with the word of God. <laughs> so, now I do want to hit on this scripture, and it's Psalms 139, 23rd, and the 24th verse. When um, David is talking about search me 
So he says, search me, God, mm. and know my heart. Test me and know my an an anxious thoughts. So see if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So he was saying, look at me, because sometimes I'm looking in my heart, but I don't see it. I can't, I don't understand. You know, what are you, what are you saying to me? Yes, all right, preach, all right, say that, I like that. <laughs> yes, so I mean, he, you're asking, but, but David is saying, Lord, search my heart. Look what's in there. I know it's some filthy stuff in there and I, I can't seem to identify it, but God, I want you to search me and tell me what it is and get it out of me. You know, and that's what we have to do as a people. You know, self-reflect. Come on, look within yourself. Stop pointing the finger at other people, trying to find fault in them so that you can look better. You know, just look at yourself. You know, um, what, it was a post that I read earlier and I, I got to find that post. So I don't know, um, Pastor, if you uh, want to say something, but that, that post, it really uh, resonated. Okay. Um I was um, just trying to see what um Wendy said here. Is up. Oh, what she saying? See, I see people walking around in a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a circle, but a triangle. <laughs> no, I, I, it's every time, every time they get a little hiccup, they they, they walk a mile and then they get a it's push a out. Just like, oh, I'm back. So <laughs> I, I get <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, that's what. Okay, here we go. This post that uh was put up earlier today. And listen, this is what it says. Listen, Pastor. It says, I'm too busy working on my own grass to notice if yours is greener. Oh. So that, that, and when I read that, I was like, oh, that goes with our topic tonight, uh, talking about reflecting. So worry about your own grass and stop worrying about everybody else's. Look within yourself. Go find your own brown spots and, and nurture those and get them back up to par instead of trying to look at somebody else's grass and seeing what they got, if it's greener or not, or they got spots and all that. So worry about yourself. You see, my grass, let me touch the Oh, corner. Lord, he'll start talking about grass. You see, you see my grass is green because I, I find the real, the right fertilizer. <laughs> right, okay. I all find right. the right fertilizer because on down now. on my knees when sorrow, <laughs> you don't want me started. <laughs> down on my knees. <laughs> So that's why my grass may seem a little bit greener. Oh, so why are you worrying about my grass that knowing when I'm down on my knees, when I'm crying out, when I'm sweating, yes. when I'm crying, when I lay out and I'm, I said, Lord, help me here. No. <laughs> that's why my grass is green. You're worried about why my grass is green? Mm -hmm. The final fertilizer, man. Yeah, the right. final fertilizer. Fall on your knees and pray. <laughs> Seek the face of God. Ask God to search your heart, oh, and your yeah. mind, your spirit, so that he can purify you and cleanse you up and you can be whole and you can be sanctified. You can be pure before God and you won't have to worry about what nobody else is doing because you too busy worried about yourself, worried about getting yourself holy, you know, and then uh, you can be a witness for the Lord. Oh, yeah. Then uh, you can do your outreach and go and pull somebody else in. But while you are working on your get yourself together and stop blaming others and stop pointing the fingers at others. So if we would just learn to reflect on ourselves, look at that man in the mirror, do something about that person instead of worrying about other people, then we can grow spiritually. So I thank God for this um, this beginning of this series. I'm not quite sure how many days we have, but I know we have at least three uh, that we're going to do. But um, and they'll be a little bit different. But they're all talking about reflecting, looking at that man in the mirror, so that we can get better. So, so um, for my viewers here and and then, you know, go search of reflection. Yes. And let's come back on um, next Thursday night mm -hmm. and 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 talk a little bit more. Yes. Because since yes, uh, it's not that we're limited to time, we could keep going. All right, but we don't want to stretch it out. Remember what Solomon asked God for? Wisdom. <laughs> Amen. Wisdom. Amen. So you want to leave this thing at a average um, timeline mm -hmm. where people won't get tired yes. of just watching it. So that's too bored. <laughs> keep it interested. And they, and they want to see um, the continuation and part two. Yes. So, but you know, we never, mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. leave this show yes. without introducing or invite somebody 
to give their life to, to Christ. To give their life to Christ. Yes. Because you may now be wondering why mm -hmm. the other grass is green, uh, since we are closing with that, mm -hmm. and why yours are roasted, mm -hmm. why yours are yellow, why you mm -hmm. have dark spots. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you may never, ever try fertilizer. Right. You know, so you want to know what is this fertilizer that we use. Mm -hmm. And and you may only fertilize once. <laughs> and it's been three seasons now. We, and we, have, we are summer next year again. <clears throat> and you never fertilize again. So you start having some dead spots. We just have ice on the physical grass a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So every grass is red now and people are wondering how we're going to get our grass <laughs> groomed God for the spring. You. You. So you want to know about Christ. Mm -hmm. And we have a simple prayer yes. that you can pray mm -hmm. with faith and believe to start this new life. And for those who, who are withering, are uh, weakening, Mm -hmm. Those who are losing limbs, who leaves are shading leaves. Uh -huh. This is a way to get back your mm -hmm. groove. All right. So <laughs> follow these words behind mm -hmm. Pastor Bridget. Amen. You say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you died for my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. I turn from my sins. I turn from my sins. And I invite you to come into my and heart. I invite you to come into my heart. And into my life. And into my life. I want to trust. I want to trust. And follow you. And follow you. As my Lord and as Savior. As my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I am saved. I am saved. Amen. 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 Um, uh, so yes. you. Oh yeah, that's um. My, my grew up in the church with them. <laughs> Rush. Yes, God Hi. bless you. God, God bless, bless you. you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we just thank God for each of you. Thank God for the conversation on tonight. You guys always make it interesting when you start interjecting and and giving your comments, and we just love it, love it, love it. And thank God for you. Oh man, God bless you. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Amen. And I just, I love this, this interaction and that just help people to get more out of it. When it, you it, it, make me, it make me think more and give me time to think. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when, you, when you interact with me, it make me think more. Exactly. And it give me, so this is how it helps me. Yes. And I want to help you as you help me. That's what Amen. God said. We built one another. That's it. I can't that's make it. it without you. <laughs> no, I know that's right. Now that's a fact. So God bless you guys. And we will see you next time. We will see you next Thursday. Remember, this is our series, 645 every Thursday evening. And we will see you then. Until then, don't panic. Pray. Pray.